Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your weekend reading, March 22nd to the 24th of 2019. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Gemini. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Wonderful card to start off with, Gemini. The Ace of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. Pentacles are also called diamonds and discs. This has to do with money and fortune and trade. This is prosperity and a healthy beginning. It's a gift from the universe. It's new money and new success and new opportunity. It's the beginning of gain and pleasure and beauty. This is a seed to be nurtured. So find inspiration and joy in nature. Maybe it's time to be planting some seeds. It's an opportunity for real growth, the beginning of a new project, a chance to improve your health, a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This could be a new job opportunity or a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home. Begin building that foundation for the future and spend time in nature and you'll find fresh inspiration. You may be about to experience some great accomplishment. Now money can be found to begin a new enterprise. Some of us may be recognizing our calling as our fate and chance. Your second card, and this is the energy crossing over your path. The Nine of Wands, Gemini. This is fire energy, represents strength and determination. You might be feeling tired and having to persevere. This is strength to un overcome trouble because you might have been confronting difficulties. It's the end of a cycle and there's victory through courage and endurance. And this is the pause in the struggle and you have strength in reserve. This is eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. This is in a, if someone's in a relationship with someone that wishes to continue to fight, the other person may wish to surrender. This is defending your legitimate territory. And through effort and determination, you've protected what's yours and you've shown courage under fire and stood your ground. This is a card of recovery attainment and completion, and reflection. Nines represent completion, indicating a job is done. And you are in a strong position, and success is at hand. You've planned well and wisely. Your relationships are developing positively, and you're moving forward with a sense of purpose and direction. If there's still opposition, your skills will your skills will prevail through your effort and determination. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Queen of Pentacles, Gemini. This is an Earth energy person. Could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Represents being domestic. This is a person that respects money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money they distribute. This indicates security. It can be a mother. This is harvest after much labor and prudent uses of your resources. This is someone that is protective and nurturing and resourceful. They're bountiful and they're down to earth, fertile. They're a homemaker. This is a person that loves gardens and growing things. There's fertility represented here. 
This person loves nature. They're affectionate and caring. They're clever. And they love the good things in life and having acquired them, they're content to spend their life enjoying them. And they're satisfied when they get what they want. This can also indicate help given of a practical nature. And what is cherished must be cared for. This is a person that puts high value on stability. She is the part of us that revels in gardening and cooking and craft making, massaging and being massaged, all physical sensations that leave us feeling content and whole. She is our love of comfort and luxury, and yet still being frugal about it. But sometimes dependency upon routine can make her fearful of change. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Queen of Cups, Gemini. This is your second queen in the layout, which represents sincere friends. The Queen of Cups, this could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. As a general reading, this could even be you, because maybe your sun sign or your moon sign, not your sun sign, but your moon sign or your rising sign could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. You know, you'd have to, to check out those videos to find out if it resonates with you. This is one of the most powerful of the minor arcana cards. And ultimately, her power and accomplishments are rooted in love. This is a romantic woman with intuition, a good wife and a mother. She's more integrated into society than the king is, and she sits firmly on the land. It's a symbol of her connection with the real world and with other people. And at the same time, water flows into her dress, denoting she does not repress her emotions. This is... She can see visions in a cup. She's beautiful and fair and dreamy as she compl 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 contemplates this cup. But one of her aspects is she can see visions in a cup. She also acts. And her activity feeds her dream. This is a person that is very creative and they have a strong will. And that enables her to develop her talents. And she draws inspiration from the world around her. This is a person capable of deep romantic love. She leads with her heart and not her head. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ten of Cups, Gemini. Wonderful, beautiful card. More water energy here. This card represents shared love. This is a happy family life, and it's lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It's true love, and it's better than you expected. This is embarking on something that makes life worth living. A happy home, shared love and blessings. There's peace here and your family. It's a grateful and joyous family, and you have enough happiness to share with those around you. These are emotional connections and home life that are blessed. So take time to be grateful for all the love and happiness you have in your life and focus on what you do have and not on what you have not yet received. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. This is answering the call. The time is now. You've been called. The sacred journey always starts with a call. You might feel ready or you might be uncertain and not willing, but when you, when you receive the call, you must respond. If you've been waiting for your life to turn out, the waiting is over. Your true and authentic life is happening. If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. Right now you've been called and a gateway is opening for communication from the spirit realms. The energy of courage surrounds you. You may not know what the future brings, but you do know that now is the time to act and go forward. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that spirit is trying to get your attention. 
Right now your spirit helpers are telling you that this is your time. Listen with your heart. Your time is now. Do it now. Throw your shoulders back and take a deep breath and plunge forward. The waiting is over. No matter what concerns or hesitations you may have, in the deepest sense you are ready. Believe and trust. Follow the signs and there will be many and miracles will abound. Yeah. Here's your take note moment. When we stop negative thoughts, we feel more peaceful and lighter. Try this by focusing on your heart. Breathe deeply and continue to focus on your heart while feeling love there. Repeat this seven times. When we do this correctly, we feel a big difference in our mind and our whole body. Remember to use focus and concentrate. Feel the peace. Then you've stopped negative thoughts. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.